Boys just reverse and try to push a bit of barley. This is the last of the barley. No more. We need some more delivered. I can show you before he spins it. So if you didn't know, fair, I'm presuming absolutely everybody knows this. Um, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But PTO's got splines on it. So basically this has got little grooves cut out. And that's got little grooves cut out and they fit together. things fit together and they spin. Now they're really dangerous. You put it on, on this tractor. With brute force! Oh jeez, that was heavy. You can see. It doesn't spin, but the shaft inside does spin. The dust. For a tractor that has been seen so many times, I'd like to tell you that it feels iconic. Um, it doesn't really feel iconic. It feels hard work. Ugh. Try not to bang into mine. Sort of like a Peugeot to drive. With a really high clutch. Did I just drive across the yard with handbrake on? Maybe. Maybe I did. Done here. Uh, just going to take this home. I'm so sorry if I'm boring you. Roy doesn't want us to climb on fences, so he's bought some step ladders. So who he is accusing of doing such a thing? So Roy says, because I couldn't remember, we've got beach. Horn beam. These are are these crab apple or slow? Um, these have done really well. Look how tall they are. So it's the scale.
stay away from my trees. Naughty nuisance. Yes, I'm talking to you. Side eye. <sighs> oh, she means it. Kitties. Uh, yeah, video is a bit fractious, really, isn't it? Is that a word? Fra 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 yeah, I'm sure that's a word. Maybe that's not a word. Maybe I've just made that word up. If it has, that's probably what I've been remembered by. Um, my videos are a little bit disjointed, should we call it. How crazy is this, right? So we've dumped all this tarmac here. Not for a reason. Literally just to break it up and stick it in the shed so we needed to tip it out on something soft over a large area. Look at how crazy this is. This bad boy. How? How? Like, we can't grow barley that we specifically put in the floor and yet a dandelion will grow through like six inches of tarmac. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Feeding cows. Very exciting. Uh, we'll need to muck out the bullocks that we brought in the other day, today and feed them. So this is like the beginning of winter work, to be honest. And yeah, I'll try and keep it varied because I know how boring it can be. Not as boring as repeatedly feeding animals. Watch how deep this is now. Fucking crazy. Sorry, I just swore. Are you ready? She's swimming! Sorry, before you all have an absolute heart attack. Uh, this is, we are on, literally on a flat hill. We're not near a water course. It's not going to run off anywhere. And we are keeping that area to like a poached up sacrifice area, if you will. If we move that trailer around the field, as per guidance, we'd just end up with a whole field like this. It just wouldn't work. It's just not suited to our land. And we're gonna be putting slurry uh, storage, tower, lagoon, whatever. Um, so that's gonna be sacrificed anyway in the next, definitely within the next year, um, funds allowing. The reason why it's there, because I know some people go, why are you showing this? <laughs> Trying to hide it from you. Real life alert. Um, this is a hard track. That hard track goes all the way down those fields there and to the river, which is brilliant. Um, so it just means that you can drive in and then just leave the hard track for a tiny bit. Hence why it's absolutely like a swimming pool. Great for when we don't have to deal with any of that anymore. So the grace way will be where that panel is, that'll obviously be taken out. They're only in, so they're not getting broken on the floor. Grazeway will be here, and they will go across here, and then obviously out to different paddocks, and they'll be like ABC paddocks or whatever. Um, absolutely brilliant, can't wait, and it'll all be poach free, we hope. We hope. Got sand on your feet and a big bass line. from in here or get pushed out of that little envelope I'm crazy calling it an envelope and not a letterbox. It was a bit of a stunning joke last year. Um, I, when I tried to explain how it worked, I called it an envelope, not a letterbox, because all I could see was the envelope opening. And obviously, it's the way my mind works. What can I say? So it's now become a stunning joke. It's an envelope, not a letterbox. Clearly a letterbox, shaped like a letterbox. It's even red. But it's always an envelope to me. She's always a woman to me. She can kill with a smile. She can... Wound with her eyes She gonna ruin your faith with a casual smile Aviation update! Let's see it That's not that exciting, I'm really sorry Definitely not worth interrupting cowgirl karaoke To look at a half obscured helicopter Probably someone very rich going shooting on a Sunday. Feels what she wants you to see. She hides like a child, but she's always a woman to a cow. I think we should bring back cowgirl karaoke. Like this is just the element of my YouTube that everybody has been missing. Self-humiliation. Brushing for the non-vocally talented of us.
Now this is where the bobcat is absolutely unbeaten. But the sheer grab is already on the Merlot and obviously we can't be asked changing it. I better do this because I'll get in trouble. and out yet but we'll be doing so hand signals so um roy did just come in and has um expressed a wish for me to explain to you how the shed works so this was never built to house you know black and white bullocks and it was never built to house um you know all the suckle cows um it is a carving shed for jersey cows it is a copy of a shed a carving shed a man in the village who we liked his design, so we basically stole it, which is absolutely fine, he wouldn't mind. And what happens is um, they come out of this shed next door and the handling system's in the middle. And then they come into here, first of all, for the first God knows how many days. Someone will tell me, someone will correct me, someone dairy fied. And then when they're closer to carving, they come into this side of the building and there's the carving pens. And then obviously they go back, uh, the calves will go into that there and then the cows will go that way it is it will work for um like a dairy system as if to illustrate the point we are going to do it with a bobcat bucket so roy is going to go down to the silage pit and get a sheer grab of silage and put it in the bobcat bucket and then bring it in here and then tip it in so let's see how that goes That attachment plate is um, the Dinsdale attachment plate that you may have seen us um, use on several different things. It means that we can literally have that bucket, the big one, on the Merlot, the Bobcat and the tractor. We can have it on all three. It just means that you can just change in your implements to different machines. It makes it so much easier. It isn't really worth putting the Keenan on just to feed this one shed, one product. And I'll just show you the bed. So although it might look really dark, if you remember this wasn't straw, this was a, this side was silage, really, really dry silage. That was no good, we'd left it in a trailer. And that side was hay. So our neighbor Malcolm had a, not, oh yeah, not, our neighbor had a shed full of seven or eight year old hay, small bales of hay. It was dusty, it was minging, nothing would eat it. And he was like, I need to bonfire it. And we were like, well, no, don't do that. Straw's gonna be really expensive. We will um, use it as bedding. So that is the base of what is in here that you can see. So this is two days. And then we'll bring some straw and obviously freshen the bed up. It just means that they've got a good base to start off on. Bring them from behind, fairly interesting. So these here, I'll find a video of when they were younger. There's the varying sizes of them. These are all the bigger ones and one tiny one that's snuck in from the other field, but he seems to be holding his own, so he'll be all right. But they are some big boys now. They're staying here for um, a fortnight and then we'll run them through the handling system. We'll worm them and do everything we need to do with them. And then they'll go to Roy's dad's house at the other farm and they will be TB tested there. And then they will be very quickly sold after that move the straw we will obviously have to um put the grab we're gonna do it on the bobcat because the mellow has the sheer grab on i got on like an old woman when i got it in that aren't i that grab only ever used to be used for the tractor and now because of the adapter plate it can now be used for the bobcat
I'm really sorry if it is not quite as entertaining as usual, uh, but it is what we've been doing. It's nearly done now anyway. Um, we've just got a little tiny bit of patching to do and I can see some barbed wire there that we've forgotten when we've um, taken this fence out and replaced it with a new one. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. As always, I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you next time.